we do have a an opening for our stairs from the lobby so an open to above or below so you can cut the opening for your floors by simply changing the profile for the floor and there are other ways of doing it as well like creating an opening or a vertical shaft so let's do the simple editing of the profile so we'll have the opening right here let's go to the second floor top of concrete floor plans And from here, you would like to select the floor. Now, since there are several items found in this drawing, like the walls and the floor itself, you might need to hit the tab key, making sure you are selecting the floor. So now it's highlighting the walls. Press tab. Tab again, floor. Okay, once you get that floor, select. And then you want to go up here and say edit boundary. Let's click that. You want to go somewhere here in the middle of your building where you have that opening so this is the lobby we have here our door you can make the um, first floor visible by again adding an underlay but we didn't do that so no problem we'll just create a simple opening using a rectangle tool I'm just going to go here to, I think, let's see, here. Now, that's a simple opening. Depending on your stairs, like if you place here a spiral stair, you might need to change the profile to accommodate for the landing and uh, maybe add floors to this part of the building but if you hit the check mark here for now then you would have created an opening would you like the floors yeah sure attach and there you have the opening now if you still have the beam system here, you need to delete those. Let's go to the 3D view and see what happened. Okay, there you go. There's our opening. And if you look here, you'll see that our walls got attached to the bottom of the floor maybe it's better to look at that in a section view so let's go to this section view right here double click the head and you'll see how let's expand this crop view As well Let's see how that looks there you go so when you say attach again the uh, wall gets to be extended right at the bottom of the floor if you remember this wall initially was going up to the second level top of concrete so that's what attached to the 
floor means.